it all need a game like that to kind of remind yourself you still do this? No, I know how good I am. Um, it's all about just opportunity right now. Uh, I mean, that's been um, ever since I left Chicago, towards the end of Chicago. It's just been opportunity and uh, just being prepared for those opportunities. So uh, I think I'm there. Um, yeah, 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 I mean, this is my third game back. Um, pushing myself um, every day, getting the most out of all my days, and I'm just trying to be patient. Like, I'm going to have um, good games, I'm going to have bad games. It's all about just being mindful of them and just understanding where I'm at. Like, um, I'm, a perfect, um, I'm a perfectionist, my bad, but uh, sometimes I, I'm impatient and I want success or results right away. And um, that could tend to mess with your mental. And for me, having all the injuries that I had, um, I, I tend to um, like catch myself whenever I am thinking about the games, having bad games, or I have a, bad, a, a few bad games in a row. You, y'all are getting out that slump and understanding like what's the positives out of those games. Can you do what you did last night? Yeah, I mean, we could work. We could work on it. Um, it's all about just picking and choosing my spots. Like yesterday, they gave me the ball to push the ball. We was trying to push the pace, and I felt like I could play with anybody or any unit on this team um, with the way that I play. Um, I facilitate. My job is to push the ball and um, just attack whenever I do have the chance. And um, I think I learned that over the year that I had. I mean, the year that I had with New York. Derek, with everything you've been through physically, what, what have you learned about ways you can take care of your body so that you can be smarter um, about this now as you guys work your way back? I mean, um, it, it's the small, I would say it's the small things, hydrating. You think that a lot of people hydrate, or yesterday when Lou won it, it was one of the reasons Lou got mad at me yesterday because um, I was in the bathroom. I didn't know that he wanted me to come back into the game, so it was just miscommunication. Um, but the way I think about it, when I say little things, guys are out there for two hours straight playing basketball for two hours and nobody take a, a bathroom break. For real, just think about it. It, it blows my mind, bro. Like um, Whenever I come out the game, I go right to the restroom, hydrate. <laughs> And, and I'm right back at it. But that's what I mean by just learning from my past and just trying to do anything or, um, yeah, anything just to stay on the court. I got to go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I mean, man, I came a long way, but I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy that the biggest thing, I'm just happy that we got the win yesterday. Tristan said last night when you were making jumpers it's kind of like yeah. icing on the cake but did you feel like that's the that was kind of the perfect example of doing everything you can do oh uh, yeah i mean but it all takes time and rhythm uh, i mean i told somebody here i mean right that, that when you like your whole life you're used to a one-two rhythm like a shooting rhythm your entire life ever since you was a kid elementary school high school college you're used to a certain rhythm and you have one knee injury that like you, you stop everything, you reset everything, and I have four. So learning what's going to be my rhythm, learning what's going to be my shot, learning how I'm going to get into them shots when people are on me, learning how to shoot them when I'm when I'm wide open. Like all those things that you, you took for granted, you're learning all, or I took for granted when I was younger, I'm learning all over again. And um, I think this ankle thing could be a blessing in disguise because it, it helped me along with my base. My base is very strong for my shots right now. Does the uh, bone spur still bother you? I mean, it's there. I, I just know that this ankle is going to be a problem. For, <laughs> I mean, that's not going to be a problem, but it's just something that is usage. You know what I mean? Like 10 years in, the work that I put in is just something that um, it's just going to be there, and it's only stiffness. Like, I don't have any pain or anything like that. It's just throw that out there so people would think it's a problem or something. There's no pain at all. It's just stiffness. Did you wonder at all what your reception would be like when you came back? No, nah, no. Nah, um, I mean, to tell you the truth, I, I, I really didn't care. Um, as long as my teammates uh, had my back, whenever I did come back, and they understood that I wasn't trying to be a distraction to the team, I, was just, I just needed that time alone. So as long as my teammates and the staff and the, the franchise have, have my back, 
um, everybody else and everything else really uh, doesn't matter because we're the ones that's going to be in the heat of the moment together and going. Uh, we're in this battle together. Well, that's who I met with your teammates. Were you, were you concerned at all about how they would receive you? Um, at first, but after I talked to them, um, and um, I was only focusing on my rehab at the time. And that's the only thing I could focus on. Like I'm not a, a bad guy, or I'm not a selfish dude, or, or a kid, or anything like that. Um, I'm very um, poised, and I'm, uh, I stay to myself sometimes. So you feel like you don't have to regain their trust you anymore? You kind of. I mean, that's that's going to continue to grow throughout the year. The more that I play, but as far as right now, the minutes that I'm getting. I'm just trying to be positive, push the guys, um, be a, a burst of energy out there, and let them know that I'm only here to win. I don't care about stats or anything like that. Like I, I did that in my younger days. I'm here to win the championship. Overall, this is a team that has each other's back. What I'm um, here? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, I've been on a lot of dysfunctional teams, man. A lot of people overlook that. I, uh, I mean, I've been on a team that we only. Yeah, it took us the last game, 82, to make the playoffs. And it took somebody losing that game for us to creep into the playoffs that Boston year. So I've been on a lot of dysfunctional teams. We're in third place right now, man. Like, come on, man. We, I mean, but I get it, the expectations. And, and with Bron and just this team and the franchise, I get it. But for me, you know, my past helped me with just calming down my nerves and nerves and putting everything in understanding.